welcome to this AI only battle and the first ever AI only battle for Alexander Total War. That's why I've never done one for Alexander Total War before, but um, I guess this will be a good place to start. So it's Macedon versus the Persians, obviously. Like, where else am I going to start off with? Of course, it's got to be this. Uh, we have Alexander here uh, leading his uh, Macedonian arm. He's got some companion cavalry, uh, some allied cavalry that he's picked up on the way. And of course, a load of phalanxes with some uh, sort of like spear skirmish units um, to cover the back. And we have the Persian army here. Now they do outnumber the Greeks uh, by just a little bit, but you know that's that's something I'm not. I wanted the Greeks to be outnumbered because uh, you know the, the Greeks are always outnumbered against the Persians in all the battles, but they still managed to pull it off, and that's why I that's why I like uh, Alexander the Great. But anyway. We have the General's Bodyguard, Missile Chariots, uh, some normal cavalry here, some Scythe Chariots, some Elephants, some Archers. Something that uh, the Persians have that Alexander doesn't um, is Missile Units, so that would be definitely interesting to see. And of course the load of Immortals here. Um, I want to really see those get into a fight. Anyway, let's go. Who's going to win, Macedon or the Persians? Now, sadly, there is no perfectly flat map in Alexander Total War for these battles, but I guess this is close enough. So, uh, the Persians, of course, have lined up over here. Uh, clearly more troops than the Greeks have brought, but, you know, the Greeks, you know, they've proven themselves better before in history. Um, you know, they've, of course, conquered the Persian Empire, uh, but will they, be able to, uh, will they be able to do it here? I don't know. I think the Persians could definitely use their numbers to their advantage in this. Of course, this is AI versus AI. Uh, you know, they don't, they don't know strategy too well. It's more just charging and hope for the best. If Alexander, or the Greeks of it, or whatever I'm going to call them, uh, if they get their phalanxes down and they work right, the Greeks will win, more than likely. But it, it mostly depends on is the AI smart enough to really use their good units to their full potential. If they are, the Greeks will win. If not, I think the Persians could have quite a good chance. And so it begins. The Persians are sending forward um, their general, actually. They're bringing their general into the fight. They're using missile cavalry units, so they're just trying to get a few picks onto the pikemen. The elephants and the scythe chariots are up here. These are done with two very interesting units. Uh, this is sort of the, the best thing that the Persians have, I think. Um, cavalry charging forward, so they must have found a weak spot. Nope, that's straight into Spearmen. Uh, they might be able to get a good charge and possibly a break, but uh, force back for chariots. You don't want to be wasting your cavalry here on Spearman. It's it's not the best decision. I have been trying it again, just trying to keep charging into these Spearmen. They're getting a few kills, but now they're getting cut down once they get into the actual combat. The charge is good for them, but that's all what's good. Everything else, not good. I'm going to lose a lot of cavalry doing this. Oh no, they're being flanked now as well. If in doubt, send in more cavalry. They've been caught over here as well, but they get. Oh, the Greeks don't want to lose their cavalry like this. They managed to break one unit, but that definitely was not worth it for them. Most of their cavalry is now dead. That was very stupid by the Greeks. Um, I don't know what Alexander has been drinking, but you know, he's not making the best dis decisions right now. Uh, hopefully, his phalanxes might be able to pull up a good fight. What's happening over here? So his spearmen have been caught. Like he's, like he's managed to break some of their cavalry now, but he's lost his own cavalry. Oh, Alexander's there himself. He's got to be careful, right? He's, he's safe for now, but he, he's got to be careful with his general. Right, Brock. Oh, you've got to get your phalanx. Right, they've got the phalanxes down. Right, that's good. This unit shouldn't be able to really do anything against these phalanxes. The Greeks can still do it even though they sacrificed all of the cavalry early on. Uh, Alexander himself is charging, trying to get to the general. Uh, got caught by the cavalry. Ooh, we broke through the cavalry. Right, now the route to the general is almost... Yeah, it's almost clear at this point. It looks like he's pulling back to regroup with his... Nope, maybe not. I don't know. Uh, the phalanxes here seem to be holding out reasonably well. Uh, ooh, I like this here. Yeah, they, they weren't done a standard chance. Caught on both sides by phalanxes. Get your phalanxes down. I'm sure they'll be fine with it. I want to see where the general is. Okay, so he's still fighting against the cavalry, trying to get to the general. Um, he seems to be doing, for the most part, a good job. He hasn't he hasn't died yet. And then we're going to another cavalry unit. So, 
you know, even though the Greeks lost a lot of their cavalry, they're still using the cavalry and they're getting a lot of good kills with them. And now he's, right, he's starting to kill some other general's units. Where are these elephants? Right, the elephants are over there. Uh, the scythe chariots, I, I can't see wh where those are. So I'll just have a little look around. Right, that's normal cavalry. Uh, that's the general who's over there. Is this them? Yeah, this is them here. They've clearly taken a hit. Uh, so they probably didn't do uh, too well. Maybe charged right into a phalanx for some stupid reason. Uh, yeah, phalanxes keep coming down now. The Greeks have definitely won over here. Uh, they've definitely killed most of the Persian infantry. But this cavalry fight here, this is going to mean a lot. If the Greeks lose their general, they're going to lose a lot of morale. This here could decide it. Whose who's general is going to die first? And I think, but looking at it, the Persian general has fled, as you can hear there. And, break the will of his and the Greek general, just Alexander, he's got, he's got so many more troops. And yeah, the Persians just got destroyed there. So their general is going to stand uh, probably until the end of the game now. Um, they are actually starting to break some of the Greeks here. They must have got them on a the flank. Uh, but you know, I, I don't think it's enough at this point. I think, I think Macedon has it. I think they have it. Persians still have some good numbers, but... You know, it's it's proven that that was that alone wasn't enough, and yeah, well done to Macedon, well done. They've, they've still got their elephants actually. We, we can't count them out yet, not until the elephants are dead. But they are missile elephants, so they're firing in, and they're not just going to charge stupidly. Although now would be the time to charge if you are going to. Facing the wrong way with the phalanx. Ooh, get these on the flank here with the elephants as well. They might be able to break them. Oh, ha, ha, ha. And that should break the Macedonians here, although they're still holding for some reason. Trying to... Ooh, they killed an elephant. These Macedonians are stronger than I thought. I thought this would actually be a balanced uh, battle where uh, the Persians might actually win, but... Yeah, I seem to have made a bit of a... I seem to have uh, underestimated the Greeks a little bit, they... <laughs> Their morale is quite good, and we've still got so many more phalanx units here, which... They might be able to get them in the back with a few charges, yeah, but just look. They might be able to get them in the back with a few charges, but they just instantly break. That and the loss of a general doesn't help either. Alexander's over there, what's he doing? Uh, just chasing some units down. Yeah, these managed to turn around in time, and... Yeah, they break. There's nothing they can do. They get caught here as well, and they've done it. Oh, they, they raised the phalanx for a little while, but that will help the Persians out a little bit. But I don't think it's going to be enough. For that. Yeah, there we go. Persia broke again. Right, what are they going to do with these elephants then? If <laughs> this is mostly all they've got left, it's just a unit of elephants. Some infantry dotted around, but it, it's the elephants that they've only really got left. It's like, you know, these are done to break in seconds. Look, already broken. This is the last unit they have that could actually do some damage. I don't think they're going to win, but how much damage can they at least do? Another charge coming in straight into the phalanx, and elephants instantly go berserk. That's the end of the elephants. <laughs> They'll still run around and get a few kills, but now that the Persian uh, general cannot control them, then you know, he can't really do too much with them anymore. This is all he's got left. Oh, and some, some light cavalry as well. Don't forget the light cavalry <laughs> against the spears. <laughs> right, what's this over here that's close to Alexander? Right, Alexander's here, but what's this? Oh, the Persians have some more cavalry all the way over here. Well, I think it's time to speed up. I think we have a clear winner. So as you can see, the elephants still probably getting a few kills, but you know, it's not. They're not really done be able to use them. There we go. There, Persians still breaking. There's the archers. They're gonna break as soon as we get hit. Yeah, they don't even have to hit them over there. They just instantly break. Nah, this is done being annoying. Come on, just catch up to them. And there we go, one kill, that's all they needed, just kill this guy here, and they all go.
That's them done over there. What's left? I don't know, I managed to run down some Greeks you know, with their cavalry unit, but. Can't imagine them staying too long. What? Is Alexander chasing after these elephants? <laughs> well, he managed to kill them. He got them out of the way with at least, and he's still alive. <laughs> Alright, the Greeks, uh, they're not bothered waiting for the Persians. They're going for me, the spectator, right now. I should be fine. I think the Persians will uh, catch them on the flank before then, but I'll just retreat from the battle if they get any closer. This is it. The last charge of the Persian Empire. Alright, the Greeks have sent a phalanx unit to try and deal with it. Have I done a, have I done a charge into it and take for bait? Yep, and look. There we go, now I can flee. Well done, Greece. Well, oh, Macedon, sorry. Uh, well done to them. Okay, so Macedon here, 1,295 kills. The Persians, 1,000 kills. The Persians got a lot of kills. They got more kills than I thought, so, you know, well done to them for that. Uh, but sadly, it wasn't enough to uh, bring down uh, the Greeks. Huh, odd. The Persians killed 1,000 Greeks. The Greeks brought uh, 1,500. Yet 639 remain. These numbers don't add up at all. <laughs> oh, whatever. I guess maybe elephants came friendly fire might have mixed up the numbers a little bit. I don't know. Either way, hope you've enjoyed uh, this battle. Uh, just a little uh, thing that I wanted to try. Um, and of course, Macedon won, so well done to Macedon. Um, hope you've enjoyed. Hope to see you in the next video. Please do subscribe for more. And good bye.